Good day, everybody. Q&A Cop here. I did want to reach out to you and answer some questions on Quora today. First question comes in, how can the government reduce pollution by stepping up law enforcement? I was a police officer a long time. There were a lot of things that we did not enforce because that was stepping on some other entity within the state. I suppose in answer to this question, whether somebody agrees or not, police officers could now be tasked with additional things, i.e. citing different entities that happen to break some kind of a law out there with regard to environmental concerns and environmental safety. But as far as I'm concerned, I believe police do already have enough on their plate as it is just doing their normal keeping the public safe type job versus trying to go after other entities and cite them for some kind of a violation. That's my personal opinion again, but that's what I believe could be done if in fact we wanted to incorporate law enforcement into taking the EPA's position and being their enforcement arm. Probably not a good idea, but that's how I would answer that question. We'll talk to you soon. I'm Q&A Cop. Be safe. It doesn't take two. It's just an addition. I'm, I'm back. One of the things about pollution that I do know that police officers cite for, as we used to, is excessive exhaust. You see a vehicle and it's got this massive plume of smoke going for miles behind it. You only follow, you just need your nose. You shut your eyes, follow the car, and you can write them a citation for excessive smog or excessive smoke emissions coming from that vehicle, then that's going to force that particular driver, whether they're the owner or not, to seek some kind of a remedy to make sure that the car isn't that way any longer. A lot of times it has to do with exhaust or muffler or manifold, uh, oil leaking on the manifold if it's an older vehicle, one of those items. So that's, that's one of the ways police officers can. In addition, those really fast cars, fast and furious with all the modifications. I know Los Angeles police, as well as sheriffs and highway patrol, they're trained to look under the hood of those super sporty vehicles that are just piling out emissions. You might not see it, but they're going against the rules that are put in place for vehicles and a particular standard. So we used to go in there and we could cite those drivers, and these are very expensive tickets, cite these drivers for different additions that they've done to make the car really, really fast, but have now bypassed the emission controls on those vehicles. There you go. Take two. Connor, out. Talk to you soon.